Dear students, in this module, we're going to look at the Zucker's algorithm's workings in the form of a flowchart. As you know, Zucker's algorithm is involved in determining the second secondary structure of the RNA molecules. The Zucker's algorithm, the functioning of the algorithm depends on computing the positive energies and the negative energies given out or taken in as a result of formation of hydrogen bonds between complementary nucleotides. Also, the positive energies are there because some nucleotides still remain unpaired. As you know, there are three matrices in the Zucker's algorithm. The first matrix given here in the form of A, the second matrix B. So in matrix A, you have the RNA sequence written on top like that as well as on the left side like that and what you have to do is to see which nucleotides can form hydrogen bonds of course you know GC, AU and GU can form the hydrogen bonds so once you have completed this table then you can uh, look at the table B and compute the free energies given out as a result of the uh, formation of these bonds. Moreover, you can compute all the diagonals that are there in matrix A. In this case, there are two possibilities in this given example. The two diagonals include AU, CG, GC and UG. Of course, it is possible that there are many other diagonals in case the nucleotide sequence is different. Please also note that in this example we have given the partial sequence of the RNA molecule on top. As you can see the same sequence should be there on both sides of the matrix A and B. Moreover another diagonal that is there in this example is the GU and UG diagonal as given here. So once you have uh, found out all such diagonals in matrix A, then you can compute the energies of each diagonal and fill the matrix B. Now let's take a look at the flowchart. So you begin with obtaining the RNA sequence. You construct the base comparison matrix that was given by A in the previous slide and the sequence should be in the 5 prime to 3 prime end at both the top as well as the left side. Next, you fill matrix A with the base pairs that are complementary and are able to find and are able to make hydrogen bonds. This includes AU, UA, GC, CG as well as UG and GU. Of course you know that these are the wobble base pairs. Next, once you have filled matrix A with the base pairs, you construct the free energy matrix B with the RNA sequence in 5 to 3 prime at both the top and the left side. Then you have to identify the diagonal base pairs D in matrix A as we just discussed. Okay, as the next step, for each diagonal, you have to add pairing or destabilization energy in matrix B. So once you have filled up the entire matrix B as well by looking at the energy that is given out as a result of bond formation or the energy that is not given out and is left inside the RNA structure as the result of an unpaired nucleotide, you are ready to move on. So one by one, you will process all such diagonals that exist within the matrix A. If you have diagonals that are remaining, then all you have to do is you have to go back and keep running this loop, right? So once all the diagonals have been processed and their energies have been calculated, then you can look at the possible combinations that exist. So of course if there are two diagonals 
then two combinations will exist. But if there are three diagonals, then the combinations, the number will increase rapidly. So you have to compute the energy for each diagonal combination. And once you have done that, you can select the one diagonal, the set of diagonals with the lowest free energy. Of course, this may contain one, two, three, four, or many diagonals, depending on the stability energy that is involved in formation of those diagonals in matrix A. So the important point for you to remember, since all diagonals are formed as the result of bond formation between nucleotides, you have to consider every possible diagonal. And more so, you have to create combinations of different diagonals in order to arrive at the best combination that is there. And once you have done that, you can select the overall energy that is the lowest in the case for the diagonal, the set of diagonals that is the optimal structure for the RNA.